What's up? You're watching Man vs. Science Holiday Edition. If you're new to the show, uh, this is the episodic series where we attempt random science projects uh, without really a hint or a notion of scientific know-how. But today, things are completely different. You may actually learn something because I have enlisted the help of two, count them, two scientific prodigies. Come on in, come on in. We have good old Jake Roper from Vsauce 2 and Mark Rober from Mark Rober's Scientific Universe of Excellence. Right? What is it called? Yeah, that's right. That's the <coughs> official title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long. And also, just not to correct you, but it's Vsauce 3. Wow. Oh, Vsauce <laughs> right, 2 cut. is... Uh, oh, that yeah, yeah, not yeah. Let me introduce to you Jake Roper, Vsauce 2, and... Oh, it's 3. F***. <laughs> <laughs> so many goddamn Vsauces. <laughs> Now this guy, this guy drives a Tesla, so I know that he's into science. This guy used to work for NASA, so he's got a brain on him. Have you ever put <laughs> Christmas lights in a microwave before? No. Have you ever seen Christmas lights in a microwave before? I have not. Oh, hold on. Let me get the let me get this frame a little bit. I gotta get you guys in here. Oh, here we are. Oh, there it is. That's nice. Oh, that that oh no, that's fine. That's fine. We got the lights. This is uh... <laughs> it's official set. Yes. Yeah, there's a leg lamp behind you. I mean, yeah. look at that. We are here because we're all doing wacky videos, teaching people about science and the holidays. Uh, but you're doing what are you doing? So I'm doing. Uh, some Home Alone traps, uh -huh. redoing them, you know, showing how deadly they may be. And then Mark, what I'm are you doing? I'm like taking Christmas classics and sort of testing some myths in them. Like, can you actually shoot your eye out with a BB gun? Oh, mm -hmm. very scientific stuff. I heard these guys talking before. Lots of math, lots of <laughs> blah, blah, blah about trajectory, distances, and speeds and shit. But today, we're just putting Christmas lights in a microwave and seeing what happens. What can and can't you put in a microwave? Living things. Don't put in a microwave. Cats, for example. Cats, no. hamsters, gerbils, and Small yeah. creatures, I wouldn't do. Very hard to clean tin foil. afterwards. Tin foil. Really any sort of metal. Me metallic, Yeah, sure. you should not put in there. Lightning. Uh, Christmas lights, yeah. yeah. Christmas, Christmas lights are on that list. Are on that list as well. Let's give it a go then. And science! Hey! 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 All right, yeah. let's go. Karina does not approve. <laughs> nope. What a sausage party. <laughs> all right, I got all the Christmas lights. There's LEDs, there's regular lights. You got some uh, Hanukkah stuff? Yeah. So that plugs into a USB. Oh, oh nice. I don't know this if you put that I feel in. like it's going to be dangerous. Yeah, with the metal, yeah, the metal, metal there, the whole thing. Gonna, I want right. to know where the uh, protective gear is for your guests. <laughs> uh... You don't need it. <laughs> we got sweaters on, we're fine. Yeah. Experiment number one here, Christmas lights in a microwave. What could go wrong? <laughs> Fit it in. Yeah, get it, I'm gonna slam it shut. Okay. 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 Popcorn, pizza, frozen vegetable. Potato. 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 Uh, okay, potato. that seems a little it has bit a potato more. Potato feature. Yeah. All right. Okay. Experiment test number one: Christmas lights in the microwave. Potato. Whoa. Mark, do the do the honors. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Potato. Start. Whoa! Whoa! What's it's happening? A Christmas miracle. Oh, 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 that's not All right, all right, all right, but that's probably just because there's oh. too many in there. Oh, gosh, yeah, it smells yeah. super oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, make sure you put all your masks on. Yeah, that's it's nice. like a metallic, yeah. kind of fry your brainish sort of thing. So we should probably just put a couple more in. Yeah, surely. Oh, these are the LED, LED ones. Oh, I don't think the LEDs are going to work. I agree. That's I don't my think, guess. I totally agree. Because there's no constant. Oh, yeah, watch out. Okay. Oh, God. Here, you want to hold this? No. No. Okay. Uh, now we got uh, LEDs. We're going to throw these in here. What mode are you For you, I'm going to do uh, fresh vegetable. All right. Ready? It's a you different it. kind of like, it's more twinkly. Yeah. Right? I didn't, I thought yeah. it was a little twinkly. Yeah. Okay, everybody. I have no idea what's going on now. Oh, that smells a little bit. It smells it a little different. It actually yeah. smells like Christmas. That's like a peppermint. <laughs> you can't, yeah, it smells like Christmas. I smell a little fresh vegetable in there. Oh, yeah, it, it, it was the setting. It was the setting. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's fresh. Just, yeah, let's all just sniff these fumes. <laughs> what, is the, uh, what is the scientific term now? We gotta hypothesize? Mm. Yeah. Uh, and come up with a, a scientific <laughs> deduction? Well, I don't know. Uh, of what the f is going on here. So we kind of thought about this a little bit. Sure. Well, originally, because we were thinking that, you know, this makes little tiny waves of energy or microwaves. So the idea is that they then excite the tungsten filament in the light bulbs, but the LED just kind of throws that all off. Yeah, I think magic. Magic? At this point, yeah, is what yeah, I'm Yeah, because I, I have no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> a lot of people have a, a fear of microwaves. I 
am one of them. I think that these are just gigantic death boxes. Uh, true or untrue? Uh, I think true. That's why this grid on the front mm -hmm. is sized so that the wavelength of the microwave like can't escape and hit you. So yeah. if you were in the microwave, then yes, it's a death box. Outside the microwave, as Mark said, if you have this protected here and you're not like just rubbing metal against it, you're probably fine. The fancy term is it's a Faraday cage. It's all like this. You know, Bad stuff. Using, like cell phones and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. like, the fun doesn't stop here. These are uh, some oh. some stars of David. I didn't want to sure. leave. I didn't want to leave anybody out. Is there a kosher set? There is. Here it is. Soup. Like, oh, ma like matzo ball soup. Yeah. Who doesn't like a nice soup? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Don't they don't. Oh! Oh! Yep. Oh, you did it. Definitely some burning in there. Yeah, oh, that's okay, not fine. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. And now this is the one. Yeah. This is the yeah. one everybody's excited about wow. here. This is a uh, USB Christmas tree uh, that apparently you put on your computer. I imagine it lighting on fire. Yeah. I think we'll see sparks. Tinsel time. All right. <laughs> yeah. I want to do one. Curtin wants to do one. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to get our uh, resident science. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, are, what are you? I don't know. What kind of science stuff do you know? Pizza! <laughs> Is that your setting of yep. choice? Oh, uh, well. Alright, here we go. This is really scary. Yeah! <laughs> Exciting stuff here on Man vs. Science. Now that everybody's ingested some real toxic f***ed up fumes, what is our conclusion? I mean, in general, don't put these things in the microwave. But they look pretty yeah. f***ing awesome. So do it. They do. It definitely destroyed the interior of this microwave. There's some scorch marks. Is there? Every oh yeah, look right there. Wait, look on oh yeah, the, the top is totally Yeah, the top black. is black. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also it's just filled with Smells like, amazing, yeah. though. See, all these videos they say don't try this at home, uh, but I think that if I give that warning, and if they do do it at home, then I'm not legally responsible, yeah, right? it's not your fault. Yeah, sure. you put warnings in front of your show, right? Don't do this, don't yeah, do that. sometimes, yeah. Right, you gotta be yeah. safe out there, but all I'm saying is if you wanna be really safe, <coughs> do it outside. Well, we'll see you next time here on Man vs. Science. I uh, hope you learned something, uh, and if you didn't, it's your own fault. Whoa! All right, see, you gotta do the, the scissor snips. Uh, scissor yeah. snips! This is like a gang sign. Yeah. All right, one, two, three, science! All right, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. All right, all right, be sure that you check out Corinne and I over on Vsauce 3's channel where we are testing out all the booby traps from Home Alone. I'm talking paint cans to the face, tarantulas, crowbars to the chest. Things get a little messy. I'll leave that link in the description and I'll see you around here next time for more science.